What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and today I'm going to talk you through step by step the Quattro Lava Lunion attack strategy. Now I appreciate there are crazy Lava Lunion style attacks nowadays but this is going to cover the basics of your box standard Lava Lunion attack. So diving straight into composition, this is for your Town Hall 10 but you can still do it as a Town Hall 9. So as a 10 I would recommend your 4 Lava Hounds, your Quattro Lava Lunion. 14 balloons and 25 minions. I then fill my clan castle with balloons purely because it's easier to request. You can request and swap this around with the lava hound if you wish. For your spells, you're then going to want 3 rage spells and 2 freeze spells. If you're a town hall 9 using this strategy, obviously you don't have the freeze, but you might consider taking a heal spell for the core since you probably won't have to worry about the infernos if you're attacking in town hall 9 itself. And obviously you will probably need to drop out a couple of balloons and minions from your troop composition. Now the main thing that is going to vary and what is difficult for me to tell you off one video is your dark spell. So you may want to bring a haste alongside this as well but I would probably recommend either the poison or the earthquake spell. And this is going to depend mainly on whether you know what's in the clan castle and the base setup itself. But I'll talk about that throughout the video in general, if it's a Lava Hound in the Clan Castle, you might want to consider the Earthquake spell because you're not going to trigger it with your Lava Lunion style attack. But again, this might depend on if you feel you're going to have to come in for the Town Hall with your heroes or whether you can get it with that first portion of the attack. Moving on to the attacks themselves, what this strategy is great for and what I'll show you initially are those anti 3 star bases. And again, I know that Mass Dragons are brilliant for this and probably even superior for this style of base, but the more strategies you have in your toolbox, the better I think. Getting straight into it, step one is putting in your Lava Hounds. You'll see that since I'm obviously attacking from the north, I have two focused towards each air defence in that region, but I also have them spread out slightly in the hope of soaking up air bombs. Step two is then deploying your balloons. These should be spread out nice and wide because your Lava Hound should be drawing the fire from most of the defences in that region. In general, you want them to spread out across the defences that the Lava Hounds are tanking for. So the way I like to do that is a two finger drop starting from the furthest away point on each side drawing in towards the centre where I'll then reinforce with my castle balloons. Step 3 is then spreading out your minions behind the balloons and it's also a good idea to save a couple for cleanup but this will depend on how many free buildings there are. Step 4 is then your spell deployment. Pretty straightforward but very important. In general for your rage spells the best way to describe this is to put them in a Mickey Mouse formation. So you'll see the two there side by side are the ears and that is incorporating the balloons that you bring in from either side. Your third, which would make up his face, will be centralised to this and slightly ahead, so that would normally incorporate going over and into the core. Not the best of examples for that on this one because I put the third rage spell over the town hall, but if you imagine it was a bit more south, kind of over the clan castle, that would be the region you would want that third rage in general. Obviously this one, I just wanted to make sure I got that town hall down. Your free spells are where a little bit of variety comes in and you will have to scout the base to see what you get. If you're coming in from a single inferno side, you might choose to freeze that initially as I did in this raid because you want to save your lava hounds. You don't want them to go straight down because then you've got nothing tanking for your balloons. Likewise, you probably want to freeze the multi inferno when the balloons and minions are coming through, which means you'll not be deploying it until later on in the raid. Alongside them, you want to scout and see what else you can freeze at the same time. So if there's an air sweeper, for example, you want to try and freeze that if it's pushing back your balloons. The final stage is then deploying your heroes, which I'll talk about on these next raids. So stage one is underway. I'm putting in the Lava Hounds at separate areas, and you'll see the two-finger drop of the balloons coming in and the castle balloons to reinforce quickly in with the minions and you'll actually see how quick this attack is unfolding. That is what makes this attack effective. As soon as the Lava Hounds are in, the balloons are in behind, the minions are in behind that. This attack has to be done quickly in order for it to work. 
So you'll see zooming in the Mickey Mouse head a little bit easier, then two rage spells, and then the third one a little bit in front of it and centralized to really push the balloons and minions forward into the center of the base. I'm then onto the stage of using them couple of extra minions to get some free snipes. So the gold mine on the top right is the only one I could see from scouting, but since the balloons were tanking that archer tower, I could put a couple in at the top there as well. Once all of that is done and you have time to regroup, step five, which we didn't mention before, is then deploying your heroes. So you want to deploy this in a fashion where A, they will either go for the town hall if it's not already down, or B, they will just clean up extra percentage. Most of the time that's putting them in on the opposite side where they can take out a lot of the outside buildings. You'll also notice that the defending lava hound has only just been triggered by my heroes and the raid is already done. So this is one of them situations where I was saying that the earthquake spell in getting some damage on the town hall might have been the better option in this raid. And that's because I was obviously going to get the town hall down with my initial part of the attack and I feel the poison spell is more useful if you're coming in for the town hall afterwards with your heroes just in case there's any skeleton traps or anything like that pop. So we'll not keep you too much longer guys, we'll start wrapping up, but just a couple of more examples of things that might be of benefit to you. On this one, I'm going to start with a couple of minions on the opposite side to take out them free snipes, just in case you forget more than anything else. Didn't quite get the one on the bottom there, although it looked like I could on the scout. So again, step one, Lava Hounds are spread out in order to get two on each air defense, triggering lots of air bombs with the balloons behind. In come them initial two rage spells side by side. Make sure you get these into the base a little bit because your balloons are fine, they're getting tanked by the Lava Hounds. As a general rule of thumb, the edge, the outer edge of the rage on the outside of the base. You'll also see I got loads from that freeze spell, Multi Inferno, the Air Sweeper, an air defense and the Tesla, so I just used that again to get the most benefit out of it. You'll also notice the third rage spell. It was a great example of the Mickey Mouse face. It was placed centralized and a little bit forward from the two initial rage spells, and that was enough to keep the minions under rage in order to take down the town hall. All that's left is to put the heroes in and try and pick up as much percentage as I can. I like to place the king so he tanks for the queen initially, but so that they will split up and take the outside buildings, since they are easier to get. The difficult bit, if you're not attacking an anti 3 star base where the town hall is skewed to the side, is sending your heroes in to get the town hall in order to get you the second star. Now obviously you didn't see that in any of these raids, but I do have an old clip that shows it nicely. So you can see from this that I've got the 50%, but I don't have the town hall. I still have minions on the side. Let them just take their time and take out any of the buildings on the side because you then have a better chance of your heroes going into the town hall. And I'd say if anything, it's the queen you need to hold back because of her range, there's more chance of her going around the side. I tend to let the king get through the initial layer of wall and that again encourages the queen to go in towards the town hall. As a general rule of thumb, you probably want to be putting your heroes in around about where your castle balloons were put in, but this will vary raid to raid. Just make sure that when you're putting them in, they have the easiest route to the town hall and then you're giving them the best chance of going in instead of walking around the side. So that wraps up this one. Make sure to check out my other attack strategy guides and subscribe for more Clash content. This has been Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out, guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.